We're in that special time of the year when the citrus trees bloom. In the evenings, as the temperatures plummet when the sun goes down, the sweet smell of the blooms wafts through the air. I am ecstatic to say that when I open my back door, three of my four citrus trees are contributing to that lovely scent. This is the third checkpoint, and it's been a full year since my first video where we had our citrus trees diagnosed with ash whiteflies, Asian citrus leaf miner, and alternaria brown spot. Since then, I did another round of 3-in-1 Be Safe Organicide Spray and Mojé Vigor 53 pods in the fall, while keeping the fertilizer cycle with Kellogg Citrus Food every two months. Unfortunately, with online school and other projects, I miss the winter treatments of the spray and pods, and now the blooms are almost a full month later than normal, so the springtime treatments are delayed. But even with these missed opportunities, the citrus trees are coming back to life. The honeybees agree. So rather than just tell you how my trees are recovering, I'll let the bees show you. Keep in mind, last spring the trees were so stressed with the diseases that only the grapefruit had blooms. We removed the limb that suddenly died with the first heat wave. The rest of the bark that peeled off other limbs are slowly recovering and the leaves have filled in. The Turaco blood orange is still pretty young and the nursery said it won't have blooms for another year or two. If you have any suggestions on how you've helped your citrus trees recover from either disease or heat, please leave a comment below so we can all learn together. I'll follow up with how the citrus trees fared over the summer after the temperatures drop back to a sane level. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Friday with more DIY and smart home content.